hello everybody um, welcome back to this course or to this tutorial so um, after the slash and transfer method we're going to talk um, the pivot method right now which is pretty easy and it it saves a lot of for me it saves a lot of um, paper I, so I don't have to slash or, or do anything I just pivot my um, pattern to transfer the dart. So we're starting now. Um, yes, let me mark my point. That's my boss point. So to do the pivot method, you have to decide on where you want to transfer your dart to. Right now, I'm going to transfer my dart to the mid arm hole. So I want to move this dart from this point to that point. Right, so to do that, I have my trusty owl. If you don't have an owl, you can, if you don't have this owl, you can use um, a pin. You can use anything that will hold your pattern down. So to do my pivot method, what I do is... First of all, I place this, my center front, parallel to the paper or horizontal, depending on, vertically, I'll place it vertically, right? And then I draw from the end to this dart leg. I copy the pattern from the end to this dart leg right here. copy the pattern from the center front from the center front to the first dart leg then I copy all the way around from the neckline shoulder line all the way down to the point to the point I marked to that point I marked to transfer my dart to. So now comes the pivot. To pivot, you place your owl or your holding tool right there on the boss point, right? And use it as a pivot point and shift, close that dart, the dart you want to transfer. You close it up. and draw the remaining of your pattern. Draw all the remaining part of your pattern. Trace around the block. Back to that point. Once you remove this, this is my boss point. You have transferred your dart from there. Now complete the dart. Let's complete the dart. So you see now that we've transferred the dart from the original dart point to the mid armhole. So that is, so we've just done the pivot for and transferred from the waist dart to the mid armhole. And then when you are done, if this is where you want it to, do, to be, don't forget to shorten your dart. Reduce, your, shorten your dart. So you see how easy pivoting is. So if you don't want to cut your pattern up, so we're going to do another one. Um, let's cut this out. Uh, let's cut this out and use it to pivot to show that it's not only from the waist that you can pivot, that you can transfer your dart. We're going to cut this out right now 
and um, transfer this mid armhole that to the mid shoulder to show you the how to pivot to from how to use the pivot again the pivot method Don't forget to true your dot. I'm going to just cut this. Most times in designing, when I'm just transferring darts, I prefer using the pivot method. So I take my basic block and then I pivot it. Good. So we're now going to transfer this dart using the pivot method to, from, to the mid armhole. Uh, sorry, to the mid shoulder. You can see this is much faster for me than the slash. and transfer method so once again I place my pattern with the center front aligned then I mark the point I want to transfer the dart to so let me see where my mid arm hole, my mid shoulder is. My mid shoulder. Uh, my shoulder is 12.5, so my mid, mid shoulder will be 6, 6.25. Right about there. So that's where I'm going to transfer my dart to. So once again, I trace from that point all the way and then I trace from the leg, this leg of the dart. I trace to the point where I want to transfer it to and I trace from the that leg of the dart all the way round here Good. So you'll notice that all this area 
has been left untraced. So what we're going to do now is to get our owl, our trusty owl, place it on the boss point, and we'll close that dart. So we pivot to that point. Right, and complete and complete our drawing from that same point. Complete your tracing round the block. So now we have successfully transferred our meat armhole dot to the bust. I'm going to shorten that again. So now we have a mid arm hold that transferred to the mid shoulder. So isn't this fun? This is really interesting. This is just like plain. Um, okay, so now I'm going to transfer, where will I transfer this that to? I'll transfer it to the center front. Let's transfer this down to the center front. Or let's transfer, yes, let's transfer it to the center front. So what we'll do is that we're going to cut it as usual. the dot Cut it out. So now let's pivot to the center front. 
You can see how fast this goes, how fast and easy it is to use the pivot method in dust manipulation. Okay, so now we're pivoting the dart to the center front. So what you do first is to mark the point that you want to transfer the dart to. So I'm marking the center front directly at the bus point center front there. So I'm marking it on the paper that I'm transferring it to. Yes. So because we, we pivot anti-clockwise, right, uh, meaning this way, anti-clockwise, anti meaning towards the left, I'm going to draw from my left dark leg here. I'm going to copy the pattern all the way around. All the way around. To the center front of the block. What I do next is to use my trusty owl and pivot, closing that dart so that it can be transferred to that place. Pivot, closing that, then I'll copy the rest of the pattern. Mark that. Draw my dark legs. Voila. And shorten them probably by one centimeter because the dart is already short. Most times this dart is not shortened. So, in the same way, you can transfer this dart wherever you want to transfer it you can take it wherever you want it to go um another thing I'll, I'll also like to mention is that you can also um reduce if you want to reduce the size of a dart the best method to use you can also use the pivot but um slash and transfer is 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 um is also is also a good technique um, to use to reduce the size of a dart. For example, if I want to take only 50% of this dart and transfer it to the waist, what I can do is that I find, if I want to use the pivot method, is that I find the center of these two Find the center of these two and draw it there to the boss point and use this point as this as what I'm going to transfer to wherever else I want to do. So I've reduced the size of the dart and increased the fullness around that area. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to start dealing with um, designing 
with darts. I'm going to do some designing with darts. Um, before that, I will show you. Yes, I'm going. To, we're going to do designing with darts, and when we're doing designing with darts, we shall. We we'll also treat the princess sim when we're treating designing the darts. So what you're required to do right now is to um, work on the pivot method with the slash and transfer method. You also cut and sew a couple of samples so that you can see the effect that it will have. And then um, we'll start our designing with darts. I hope you're finding this um, very interesting and exciting as I am because I enjoy I really enjoy working with darts and I will teach you some methods you can use to work um, with that to create some beautiful designs. So till the next um, video, um, keep practicing. Thank you.